Hello and welcome. This is Angie with thecountrysheetcottage.net. So today we're going to use simple Dollar Tree supplies to make a cute lantern perfect for the center of your Thanksgiving table. Now, this video is sponsored by Testers. However, all projects and opinions are my own. We are going to use the Testers craft paint in gold to paint this lantern once we get it assembled. Now, this is a wood lantern and you might be surprised at the supplies I used little unconventional, but I'm sure that you can find them at your dollar store. And then you can make a lantern or two or three for the center of your Thanksgiving table this year, or add them to the top of your mantle. So let's get started and look at the supplies we're gonna use. For this project, you'll need some artificial leaves, a candle, a small tumbling tower game. This is available at the, at the Dollar Tree as well as the leaves. Tester's craft paint in gold some sort of adhesive that's good for wood, a screwdriver, some pliers, perhaps a craft knife, a paintbrush. And then I'm gonna use these chopping mats, any kind of plastic surface. We just need something to adhere the tumbling block game to. And then you'll need four wrapped canvases. Now you wanna make sure that your canvas has a wood frame. You don't want the flat canvases, so something that has a wood frame inside. And I picked these up at the Dollar Tree. So four canvases, the choppy mat, the tumbling tower game, the leaves, and the candle all came from the Dollar Tree. So we'll start with our canvases and re actually removing the canvas. All we're after is the wood frame for our lantern. So we'll need to unwrap the plastic first. And then we'll wanna remove all of these staples from the canvas. So I just use a screwdriver to get under each staple and then pull it out with a pair of pliers. And sometimes they break off, so just kind of work each of the staples until you get it out. If it breaks off, like even with the surface, you can just kind of use a small hammer to hammer it in. And I'll just continue all the way around removing my staples. So once you've removed all your staples, you can remove the frame from the canvas. And I've repeated that four times. So I have four frames that will make our lantern itself. Let's talk about the base of the lantern next. So I'm gonna use this choppy mat just from like the kitchen section and this tumbling tower game. So the tumbling tower game is actually a bunch of very small wood pieces. And I'm gonna kind of make a mosaic onto the cutting mat itself. The cutting mats are actually in a set of two and I'm just gonna use one for this. What we wanna do is make them slightly smaller than the sides of our frame. So we'll just kind of use that to measure and mark with a permanent marker. Then I can just use the side of my frame to draw onto the mat. And then I'll just use scissors to cut on the lines that I've just drawn. Then we can just lay out the tumbling block game and what I like to do is the paint, we're just gonna do like a really light coat, one coat of paint. And so these will look different once you have the paint on them. So I kind of like to lay them out in a pattern. And then once again, use those frames to make sure that this will work with your lantern. And then we can start gluing these small pieces into place. I'm just gonna use some DAP Rapid Fuse Adhesive 
and add each of these to the cutting mat that is on the bottom. So we can just kind of lay out some of the adhesive on the mat. And then just lay the blocks into place. There we have a base for our lantern. Then I find it easier to paint all these pieces now. Paint both sides, the you know the front and the back, all the sides, and then assemble the lantern. So I'm going to paint everything, allow it to dry completely. Then we'll come back and look at assembling and finishing off the fall lantern. Now that everything's dry, we can assemble our lantern. So I like to turn the side that had these staples to the inside of my lantern. Now, I like a rustic look. I just left the holes. You could definitely fill those before painting if you would like. Again, we're just gonna use this rapid fuse adhesive and we're going to adhere it across the bottom to our piece that we made. And then we can also adhere it down the sides as we start assembling. And I'll just keep gluing this together and allow it to dry. Then we'll come back and look at our finished lantern. All right, so I just finished this one up by adding a candle and then some fall leaves to the bottom. You can do this however you would like. So you can add candles to the inside. You could add just pumpkins, just fill them with pumpkins. You could add succulents. You could just add just about anything you like to the centers of these lanterns. Now I painted them gold. So this will work for fall and then it'll work for the holidays. So change up the inside, maybe add, you know, some holly and some holly berries with a candle. And all of a sudden you have some holiday decor, all with a lantern that you made for the fall and Thanksgiving. So I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything we've done today, the making the lantern itself or where I got the supplies, you can ask those in the comment section below. If you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos every week about all kinds of crafts and you don't want to miss any of those. So we would love to have you as a subscriber. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you next week with another craft video. Thanks y'all. Bye-bye.